guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. But today, we are gonna do a little trail exploring in Red Rock. It's just south of Red Rock, really. But we're gonna check some new trails in this scenic area, so stick around. Late night trail. No shooting. There should be some pretty good views back here. This whole valley you get around here is open up it's pretty awesome. Cause look at that. Kapow. Things are awesome. There's just so many mountains out here in Nevada. Like, when you street ride, like if I'm looking for places to ride my GS and like let it loose and open it up, there's not a lot of places in Vegas. There's not. But when you look at off-road, uh, there's tons of places to ride if you're off-road. Even like four wheel drives, like uh, Forerunners or Tacomas and Jeeps and just tons of stuff out here. And I got an announcement coming. I'm gonna add some flavor to the channel. But that's for another video. Probably come back out because I don't think this goes that far. I think it's just a circle. So I'm gonna ride it and see. This is what I need, easier stuff. I ain't kicking my ass. Let's <coughs> get used to balancing the bike on easier stuff. Not so rough. Huh. But moving, taking, removing my bar backs and risers, this helped a ton. It's a big difference as far as weight balance being in the balance point and stuff. It's like, hell yeah. It's not as comfortable when I'm sitting and riding on tarmac, but it's way better off-road, so. Look at these mountains. Baby hoods. So this is Black Velvet Canyon. All the rules. Oh, this is where we're going.
Let's go this way. Look at this canyon. It's awesome. Oh, I'm going. F it. See if we can get out now. gonna follow this. I don't know where this goes, but we're gonna find out. Thick ass sand and shit. Gotta stand up. Going enduro mode. Here we go. Here we go. Almost made it. This would be a hard one to pick up. Lost my balance. Should have been given a throttle, and I didn't. I pulled in the clutch, and it went over. I'm learning though. I almost made it. I should have made it. I gotta get this bitch up. than I want to do is if you could see I had to like slide it a little bit so I can lift it up so I'm not trying to pick the whole thing up uphill it's too heavy that way but I'll show you my damage it's minimal huh my box here a little bit of vinyl peel but about it. These plates are good. These plates are good. All right, let's press onward. Let's go. exciting I shouldn't have dropped it there because I got off the clutch or I pulled the clutch in 
trying to hold it up, trying to stop on the hill, hold it up with the clutch in. Stupid. Should have stayed in the throttle and feather in the clutch instead of killing it. Want to go this way? I think so. Want to try it a little ways. This hill don't look bad because it's flat. It's not all dug out. Probably gonna turn around and go back the other way. See where this goes. I really want to do some trail riding at night. How cool would that be when the sun's going down and. Here now. So, I can't stress enough how setting my bike up has really helped me off-road. A big thing is the handlebars. Getting rid of my risers and bar backs has made it easier for me to go through thicker stuff. It's, it's noticeably different. And the fact of being able to stay on my pegs longer. If I stay on my pegs and not sit down like I am right now, it's easier to go through stuff. The rear end kick around. Brakes tire loose. looks fresh. The jackasses around here. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. But thanks for tuning in to another video on the channel. You want to see some more dirt off-road touring on a BMW GS Adventure? Click that subscribe button. If you like the video, give me a like. Uh, thumbs up, do help subscribers do help it's much appreciated I appreciate my, all my subscribers today much much appreciated but until next time see you on the next one